Cheerleading in the country may soon reach greater heights after the International Olympic Committee declared cheerleading a provisional Olympic sport. What's in the pipeline for Filipino cheer enthusiasts this 2017? Let's find out. Joining me right now is the head of the National Cheerleading Championship and Team Filipinas Cheerleading, Mr. Itos Valdez. Good morning, Itos, and thank you for being here on Sports Desk. Uh, thanks for having us, Andre. It's a pleasure to be here with a new revamp uh, CNN yes. Sports Desk. Yes. A little bit nostalgic for you. First of all, <laughs> yeah, yeah. when we say cheerleading is now a provisional Olympic sport, mm. what does that mean? It means it's one step away from being an actual Olympic sport. Okay, yes. so, so to get the provisional status, uh, there are years of, of hard work and organizing uh, countries in different, in, in different countries um, to get them to, to, to have a viable organization in each country that supports and, 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 uh, and, and uh, holds uh, competitions mm -hmm. uh, for cheerleading. So, the ICU, which is the international, you see it on your monitors now, the ICU uh, Worlds, that, that is the called, for a long time since its inception, that was regarded as the Olympics of cheerleading. Okay? Um, and now, uh, there's a process because you have to apply. Many different organizations in the world are, apply for uh, sanctioning by the IOC. Mm -hmm. But the IOC only chooses one. Yes. So there is no other organization that is, is, is uh, allowed to call themselves a world governing body or anything yes, no. that is not affiliated with the ICU. So the ICU now is the one and only okay. sanctioned International Olympic Committee uh, body for cheerleading. And the NCC uh, uh, is the sole affiliate of the ICU here in the Philippines. Here in the Philippines. So, uh, when they came out with that ruling, uh, December 9, uh, what it really means is when they say, together with my Muay Thai Yone. So uh, what it means is uh, you have three years. Within those three years, the executive committee of the IOC can declare you a full-fledged member mm -hmm. of the Olympics. So right before the 2020 Games in Tokyo, we can actually, there's a chance that cheerleading could, could be part of the 2020 Could Olympic be part games. of 2020 or the 2024 Games. Yes. So, but there are also rules. Uh, I think, I'm not sure exactly, but I think you have to participate in the SEA Games, Asian Games before. Actually qualifying yes. but for But the that. point is, um, it's there. Yes. And uh, our team, Pilipinas, based on our records joining the Worlds the last three years, mm -hmm. uh, we're the top five team in the world, top five, one of the top five teams in the world. We've never, uh, we've only gone there. Last year is the only time we didn't podium. Before that, we were always top bronze, five. silver. Consistent. Top three. Top three. Okay. But, but last year, we dropped to five because the other teams were getting better. All right. No, so <coughs> we basically can compete globally. Yeah. So what does this mean for Philippine cheerleading? And, and of course, a lot of, a lot of cheerleaders and a lot of aspiring cheerleaders are now really excited hearing oh, this um, news. We hold the nationals, right? Yes. We hold the national cheerleading championships every March. Um, this year would be this year would be a a, a, uh, a a more festive occasion because because of the news. Um, after the nationals, we are sending the biggest ever delegation to the world championships. Four teams. Four teams. Four teams okay. joining four different categories, four different divisions, and. Isa tayong barangay doon sa, sa Walt Disney World in Florida. It's going to be even more festive because of this news. Because now, they can, cheerleaders who are not, it's not a sideline event anymore. Yes. It's actually a, a some, sport. An a actual sport. Sp uh, you can look to it as a career. Uh, although they do already now, but now more so. More so, yes. Because then you, you this, the, eventually, the way we see it is that Schools will have to have integrated cheerleading in their curriculum already because we want. Because I always say, and I say this with full confidence, uh, we would, we can, we have the best chance of bringing home a medal every four, year, Olympic medal every four years. That's for me. That's 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 all the hard work we've been doing <laughs> all of these <laughs> this this past decade and and supporting cheerleading in the grassroots. Um, and supporting all the athletes who, who love mm -hmm. the sport. And it's growing. It's growing and growing. This year, our nationals will be three days instead of two. 
because of the m number of teams that want to join. What are the other activities lined up for the year? I'm sure you have a lot more activities lined up for... For, uh... for the Nationals, uh, we've, since we started in 2006. Yes. Uh, the Nationals, we have regionals every year. Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, Central Luzon, South Luzon. And, and so we're in the, uh, the, the, the final leg of our, our year-long, season-long uh, qualifiers. No? Next week, we will have the NCR qualifiers at the Mall of Asia. And then in March, we will have the Nationals. Then after that, in April, we fly off to the world. So it's, a tight, it's nice to see because the, the teams, the, the t Team Pilipinas cheerleading, they're, they're, uh, they're gathered from tryouts. So they're different schools. But during the nationals, they compete against each, each other. other. And then after that, it's everyday practice for the world's team. That's, that's essentially what, what happens this year. So it's, a ve it's good news. It's Exciting times. For kids like this that you see on in your yes, monitors. You you know, grade schools because we have division. Look at that, there, the yeah. peewee division. They can now aspire Yes. and one day have an Olympic medal in their hand. Like what you said, you know, they take it really, I mean, they really do take it seriously now, but oh, more so, and more as so. a career. As a career. Talagang tuloy tuloy na, and growth, especially for those aspiring yung mga, you know, because gone are the days na inisip pag cheerleader. Correct. Pagandahan, yes, you know, but now. Friend. Now, you know, you're not, you're saying you're playing above the rim in basketball. Now everything's in the air. That's right. It's a different sport. It's a totally different. Um, uh, you can just to just to give you a mm -hmm. a, a uh, comparison um, in basketball and how it is in the teams now. You can actually uh, you get imports, right, to That's play right. for your team, and it instantly your, makes your yeah. team better. Cheerleading, you cannot. One athlete cannot win you a championship. It's a total team sport. So you can get five gymnastics, gymnasts um, from Mindanao, which has a good program. Mm -hmm. You can bring them and train them, but that doesn't guarantee you a championship because you still have to put them together as a team. They still have to work together. So it's, it's an ultimate team sport in that sense. So, um, but it's it's different. It, it's a very it's it's fun. I've learned so much mm -hmm. from the cheerleaders themselves, all of these years. So and I'm sure you will be back <laughs> here to tell us more about it, especially. Yeah, uh, and and, and uh, I, w I, w I was supposed to bring the, some of the captains and bring them next time. Next around. time, that's if, right. if you'll have us, of course, uh, of course sure. we will bring them so they can talk about their passion. Of course, of course, and these kids as well. Oh, oh. these young kids. Yes, thank you, so thank you, Itos, for being here. This morning. Thank you very much. And Andre. we will definitely see you again. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank All right, you. again, we just had the head of Team Pilipinas cheerleading, Mr. Itos Valdez.